Welcome to Miramadon Nation. This is a product review of Utah Ant Shop featuring aesthetic ants. First up, we have the Large Size Ant Nest by Aesthetic Ants. And it's gonna have a sponge with these three ports to give it some hydration, then a classic tubing port. As you can see here, this nest has a lot of room, a lot of different chambers, really nice design, some fine mesh that's 3D printed into the nest for the sponge chamber. Next up, we have the 3D printed ant nest size small. This has the same fine mesh, uh, one hole for the hydration in the back. It's got a nice little cover on it with the Aesthetic Ants logo. This is a nice nest for a founding colony or just a small species in general. Next, we'll be looking at the extras that came specifically from Utah Ant Shop. First up, we have a nice little pick device. This could help you to get eggs out of a test tube or just clean things out. I like that this thing is hooked in design and is not just a straight pick or something like that that you would use. Got some test tubes and some logos on it. Got a couple stickers. Got some feeders right here, larger size and a smaller size with the same connecting stand. Also, we got a little keychain. We got a nice little seed mix, which my Fidole and most of my harvesters like a lot. This is a feeding tray. And then we got another feeding tray or a test tube insert. This one is also another feeding tray. This test tube insert fits in with a rounded bottom so you can plug it with cotton on top. Really cool design. Now we'll get into some of my colonies that you guys haven't seen in a while. This is my Chromatogascar colony. I have not yet got a positive ID on them. They're a pretty cool colony I found under a rock. Uh, they got five queens, probably a couple hundred workers and lots of brood. And they've recently just started laying a bunch of eggs. This colony is actually going to go in the large aesthetic ants nest and uh, we'll keep you guys updated as the weeks go on as to how they do in it. And here's just a little bit of footage on the process that I go through to get ants to move naturally on their own into a new nest. So I'll go ahead and hydrate this thing. Now I'm and next year we're looking at Formica and the identical size. I hope I said found many her. Uh, also There's found really this colony out of some rocks. You guys will see uh, all five days. Uh, probably These guys are more of adult brown tumors since those were filming the to the actually, front of the tube. Uh, when I first got them, get them to brood, they laid tons orange, of eggs since. I'll be sure that they're doing pretty good in this nest. Yeah, again, this is the that they are very good. And this is the high tech most of the stuff I've been finding. I want to keep you guys posted on how quickly they move and one of them to updates. But yeah, aside from this colony being messy, I really like their glossy look. Where I'm from in California, most of the formica have more of a flat coloring to them, almost. Yeah, this colony's done good. At times, Start these are very, eggs, very shiny. Uh, taking a lot of really active. All three queens are laying. Them and the other and I'm excited to see this colony grow. expand. And I have another really big nest to put them in that I'll be showing you guys here pretty soon.